Picture this, staying at a five-star hotel, indulging in mouth-watering food, sipping on delicious cocktails, and sleeping like royalty in the comfiest beds around. And the best part is that you don't even need a massive following to make it happen. How many Instagram followers do you have? Got 160. What about TikTok? 800. Nowadays, hotels are looking to team up with talented photographers just like you to up their social media game and outdo the competition. It's a win-win situation and in this video I'm going to give you practical strategies and tips and tricks on how to collaborate with hotels even without amassing following. Now, it's really important to understand that no, hotels would not give you free nights and free perks for nothing. There is always an exchange in value. So obviously one of the questions that we need to ask ourselves is how can I add value to this hotel? Obviously hotels, usually they might be massive chain or family run, but usually they're big chains. They all have, let's say a niche, they all have a target audience. So if you know your brand and niche and you know the hotel's brand and niche, you can ask yourself how I can make them match. Obviously when we talk about luxury hotels, they're looking for some sort of luxury content, but then the target might be different. So having a clear understanding of your own brand and niche is really, really key. A few months back, I used to do loads and loads of tutorials on my channels. Actually, I used to do only tutorials targeting beginners and maybe mobile uh, photographer, videographer, something like that. And then I couldn't really get many hotels to partner up with me. Yes, I had a few because I had a, a big following, but the key was they were not looking for the type of content that I was creating on social media. So what I've done is that in the following month, I tried to create content that was resonating with them and that could target their audience. And now I was able to partner with loads of different things when I went to New York, when I went to the Caribbean, when I went to Paris, Hong Kong, and so many more. So it's really important to understand your target, your type of content, and also try to target the right hotels, the ones that are similar and that might be interested in the type of content you create. And obviously no one will say you yes if they don't know you. So it's really important to build relationship with the hotel marketing team. Usually there are two ways on uh, how hotels work. One is that they have an external marketing agency that help them with PR with all the relationship second one is that they have an internal team that deal with these type of requests one effective way to lend collaboration with luxury hotels is to establish relationship with either the marketing agency or the internal team and the public relation teams whatever now how you can do so well there are a few ways one can be attending industry events now in London for example there are a bunch of events that cover this topic but in case you cannot attend in-person events then you can try to engage engage with them online, maybe you write them on social media, you understand who this person is that is responsible for, let's say, PR for a certain hotel, then you follow them, you engage with your content, maybe you send a, a private message saying, hey, I love your photo, where did you take that, where was the location? Obviously, don't try to ask already three nights if you don't have yet a relationship with the right person because that might be uh, actually counterproductive. But then if you want to try even more cord reach, what you can do is try to personalize the pitch to show your interest in working with them, what you can do. And again, linking to the previous point, you can do this on LinkedIn. This is the best platform to find influencer partnership managers for a certain type of hotel. Or you can try to DM on IG and see if there's a way you can build a relationship with them. And especially if you try to cold reach people, it's gonna be impossible to lend any sort of collaboration if you don't have any previous work to show. So next time, if you're targeting and you wanna get free stays, next time you are on vacation, try to shoot content that might be helpful for luxury hotels to show. And you don't have to be in a five-star luxury hotel in order to create good content because sometimes simple environments can be elegant. And remember that we're talking about hospitality space, not only top level luxury, but you can find good stuff also in normal restaurants, in normal bar, in normal location that you might visit with your friends. So obviously you need to go the extra mile here, maybe take your camera with you and shoot content that might be interesting to showcase to hotels even if you're not in a hotel. Or another thing that you can do is actually getting a day pass. We were hosted by the Fairmont in Puerto Rico. It was an amazing hotel and they also had a beach club. Obviously it was free for us because we were hosted by a hotel but if you wanted to come from the outside even if you were not staying in a hotel you could have bought daily passes to just enjoy the beach club throughout the day. And what you can do is that if you're targeting these luxury hotels maybe you can buy a day pass in a hotel in your town in your main city close to you and then just 
shoot content whenever you're paying, let's say 50, 60, whatever price is gonna be for your beach club. Or maybe what you can do is that if you are a photographer, you can reach out to influencer that are visiting the five-star hotel of your town and try to help them offer your service for free in exchange for usage of the photos that you're gonna take in your portfolio. So you can try to find influencer that are visiting your town, then maybe text them that you are a photographer, that you can help them take better photos, then they're gonna invite you into their hotel, and then you're gonna use those photos that you take for your portfolio to present to the hotel next time. This might be easier than you think because every time I visited a hotel, it was always a problem shooting myself and my girlfriend together and I had to use gorilla pod or tripods in some weird situation. If I had a person messaging me, hey, I'm in Hong Kong, do you need photos uh, to shoot in the Sun Regis when we were hosted there, I would be like, Damn, yes, you come over right now. Then another thing to build your portfolio that you can do to target these luxury hotels is, is try to become or offer your services in production houses or agencies. Many times these agencies, they're looking for freelancers because they don't have in-house massive teams to shoot maybe bigger projects. So you can try to propose them. Obviously this might take a while. You need to build relationship with the agencies. You need to cold reach them, but it can happen. Obviously think about long-term, this is the game plan then if I can give you a suggestion, this will be the one that you should start practicing right now. Best way to actually impress a hotel right now is to learn how to make short vertical videos. Obviously, you know already, every social media is pushing vertical short videos because they create more emotion, they are more impactful than just photos. There are tons of photographers out there, but not many people that know how to make short vertical videos. And hotels are looking for this. They're not looking for influence from my big accounts. They're looking for content and especially videos. In fact, we are in Madeira in this crazy, amazing villa and we don't even have to post anything on Instagram or TikTok and we got a few nights for free. How amazing is this? In fact, Tom helped us a lot getting this free villa and how many Instagram followers do you have? Got 160. What about TikTok? 800. <laughs> 800 and 160 followers on Instagram, but he's an amazing FPV pilot and what did you do here? I filmed the villa, gave it a little tour, and then I dived some cliffs in Madeira. That's sick. So basically we just proposed the Airbnb owner to give them uh, some cool footage, FPV drone footage, some extra photos, and they give us nights for free. But again, we don't have to post anything on Instagram or TikTok. How amazing is now, this? Now, if you wanna learn this skill, which is gonna be absolutely key this year, I have a Skillshare Masterclass where I teach you everything you need to know about short vertical videos for TikTok, IG Reels, YouTube Shorts, so on and so forth. It has more than 4,500 students right now. You can access it for free for 30 days just using the link down below in the description where you'll also be able to watch all my other classes and all the classes on the platform. So definitely check it out, you won't regret it. If you've created a bit of content, then everything else is gonna be downhill, but make sure to don't skip this next step. If you have content, make sure to package it in a professional way. We're talking about both visual and also email. So your pitch should showcase your brand and highlight why a collaboration with that luxury hotel would be beneficial for both parties. Make sure to let them know why you're the right guy and what you like about the hotel. Whenever I email hotels, I always, always try to write one single line that resonates with that hotel. What I do is that I always go on the hotel's website and then I try to find something that make it stand out and then I reference it in my email. If a hotel has a Belgium, let's say, design, then I write, oh, I love the Belgium design because of this, 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 and I would love to partner with you and I think my skills, my photos and video, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, to make it even more compelling, you wanna put past collaboration and successes. In my website, for example, I have a section called Influence where I showcase all my previous work that I've done with commercial that actually have gone viral on TikTok or Instagram to help me pitch different clients. If you have hotels that you've done before, just put it in a website or put it in your uh, media kit so that they can see what you've done before and the results that you have obtained. If a hotel, for example, featured you in one of their Instagram posts, then put it right there as well. Also, usually hotels and agencies, they don't have time to waste with random people, so make sure you have a clear idea, you have to be concise when you write the email, when you write a DM, and be specific on what you can offer and when you wanna visit. For example, you ask two nights from the 2nd of June to the 4th, and then you want this and this and this, and then you can offer this and this and this. If you want my email pitch, let me know in the comments, and if enough people want it, then I'll share with you all for free. Remember that whenever you contact these hotels, because of the reason we just said, you want to be flexible and be open to negotiation. Luxury hotels, 
that have high standards and expectation, so it's important to be flexible and open to negotiating terms. For example, usually when I have to sell a reel to a company, let's say a tech company that wants to sponsor earlier in my profile, I have a certain budget, but with hotels, usually they'll never reach that budget, even just in exchange for nights, let's say for the value. So I can try to stay lower, but for me it's totally fine because I would create that content anyway in the hotel and you can enjoy so many different perks. So I love it and I'm flexible also with my budget, with my negotiating terms, whether maybe they offer only two nights instead of three and so on and so forth. And when you're negotiating, make sure to target a hotel's goals and create a pitch that offer them some sort of value. Because as we said at the beginning, this has to be valuable for the hotels. Otherwise, they won't even reply. Talking about that, don't worry. You're going to receive so many no's and no shows. So you have to, have to, have to contact so many different hotels before landing actually the first one. And the fun part is that right now I'm in the Shangri-La Paris and basically they did not ask to post anything on my profiles but they wanted a day in a life reel for themselves. I'm going to post it as well because it's amazing anyway but this is just to tell you that if you want to uh, get these things it is possible you just need to create amazing content for them so that it can stand out among the competition. Just giving you an example, despite my audience in New York, I had to send over, I think, 50 messages to different hotels, and then I managed to land two, which is what we needed. So if you want more tips on how to create a profitable career as a photographer and creator and get loads of different perks, subscribe to my newsletter. You're gonna find the link down below in the description. Let's say you've landed your first partnership. First of all, congratulations. Now there is one more thing that will help you stand out and lend more collaborations in the future, and this is about following up and maintaining the relationship relationship with a certain person. As I said, many hotels, they just outsource their PR to agencies and doing it after the collaboration, make sure to follow up with the hotel or the agency directly and maintain that relationship. Tell them that you love the hotels, tell them why you love the hotels, tell them that maybe you'd like to collab in the future, that you're shooting amazing photos and that maybe you really enjoy the service or whatever you actually enjoy. This can lead to future collaboration and opportunities to work together again. I've collabed already with an agency twice for example when we went to New York and when we went to San Juan they had two different hotels and I managed to get them both and then obviously what I tried to do is that I tried to impress them in some sort of ways and here we're talking about a few tips and tricks that will actually make a huge difference super super important that you over deliver every single time when you negotiate you're gonna agree on some terms let's say five photos two videos one post right but then in give, instead of giving them five photos maybe give them seven photos and allow them to choose the photos that they want so you give them a choice of 10 and then they'll pick maybe seven this will make them super happy and remember that you can apply this tip to any sort of business transaction that comes in your mind especially when it comes to creative stuff if you over deliver you're gonna make the client happy post more stories give them more content give them a choice and as well maybe leave them a review usually they don't ask for a review but if you put them and then you also tell them that you did it they're gonna be incredibly happy maybe on TripAdvisor maybe on Trustpilot whatever they want also, maybe you can ask them, hey, I'm going to leave your review because I enjoyed so much the experience. Where would you like me to leave the review? If you want to land unlimited collaboration with the best hotels, you need the best content ever. And to have the best content ever, you need to have the right ideas. This is not an easy task, but in this video, I show you an easy way on how you can find epic ideas for your photo shoot. I'll see you there.